What's happening here? What is happening here? Um, oh, hold on a sec. Is it showing? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I'm going to play the mobile game here. I think, yeah. <laughs> now you now you see it. It's okay. So what is really fun about me playing these? What the fuck? No, 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 no! I, don't don't get me to the Play Store. Get the fuck out of here. So what is fun about this is that uh, so these mobile games they have like decision making. Who are you gonna date? Or who are you gonna dump? Uh, oh, oh, there's someone more interesting. We can switch up and uh, bring the heart of the previous person. Uh, there's a uh, there, there's a lot lot of fun stuff we can do in those types of games. So I I play with my with my viewers and the, I put out a poll and and the the, the people decide decide what what we're gonna do it's really fun so i played day one of season one um already so a little recap a little recap we came in and there are few people that a few islanders were interested in in us however however um uh, we were the last one to choose, so we could only choose between the, these two that you see on the screen. And people voted to to couple up with Miles. So this guy, I don't forgot already his name. He's he's out. He got dumped from the island. So we're done with this guy. Uh, he's Scottish, by the way. I don't. He's Scottish. I'm not gonna do a Scottish accent. But yeah, he's easy Scottish. It's <laughs> uh, the Miles the Redhead is in the lead for now. We have the option to either stay with Miles or couple up with someone else later. Who knows? Oh, and our our character, her name is Tatiana. Wait, what the fuck is happening? Hold on a sec. Okay, uh, hold on. I had to restart because the... Tatiana. Yes, that's her name. Okay, it's, it, there's a problem with the audio. I don't know. The Islanders coupled up for the first time. Talia chose Jay. Allegra coupled up with Mason. Oh yeah, Allegra is not gonna lie. Allegra kind of scares me. She's like, stay away from my man. Girl, it's day one. <laughs> this is the beginning of day two, yeah. Erica picked T Tim. Jen and Levi got together. And Tatiana chose Miles. Oh my gosh, the bulge. forgot about the bulge <laughs> oh my gosh and we said go goodbye to jasper okay yeah jasper is out jasper you're out to now love island the redhead bulge <laughs> tatiana examines her options jake gets poetic and we indulge in a little fortune telling but first dawn comes in paradise and no, Dawn isn't an islander. Get your mind out of the gutter. Most of the islanders are still asleep, but one person has a plan to change all that. Miles walks into the bedroom. Morning, everyone. I have made coffee. Everyone groans in protest. Come on, man. I'm trying to sleep. So Mason is one of the guys that was interested in us, but he got coupled up with Allegra. What, on a beautiful morning like this? Come on, rise and shine, breakfast in 10. He strides out. 
Who's making all that noise? It's Miles. He's making us breakfast. What a knobhead. Can we only make hetero couples? I think. Um, no. So we can couple up with Talia. Um, but I don't know if I want to do this this time around. Uh, we'll see. Because the first time I played this, I coupled up with Talia and I ended up with her. So I kind of maybe I want to do something different this time. But yeah, there's only one other woman that we can couple up with. Uh, the Love Island, the Love Island um, franchise is known to be very heteronormative. Um, they, they, it happened that there were like people from the same sex who coupled up with each other. It happened before, but the main premise is like men and women have to couple up to couple up to together. It, it's one of those things. It's very unfortunate because the format of Love Island doesn't really allow for really to. It's very also like monogamy oriented so you cannot couple up with two different people at the same time <laughs> a polycule um, uh, unfortunately it won't happen it's the, it, the idea of like you you couple up with someone and the other person gets ditched you know it's for the drama if like uh the reality with reality TV is that we're all here for the toxicity. Oh my god! Water for each other! Welcome! Welcome, Angel! Welcome, Vomada! Sugar, we're glad How you're here. How are you doing? How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. What were you playing? Uh, Somber is not here, so I'm going to give you a shout out. Uh, yeah, what were you playing? Um, you were Day of the Tentacle Remastered. I'm not, sh I'm not uh, familiar with that one. How was it? You good? You're just tired today? Ah, uh, you're tired? Okay, well, you don't have to stay. It's an old-fashioned game. Oh yes, that's probably why I I haven't heard of it. Yeah, well, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate that. It's it's nice to see you today. If you have to go and do a stream aftercare, uh, it's it's fine and all. Like uh, it's that's uh, I'm not I'm not taking you hostage. If not, then uh, you can do exclamation point spin to spin the wheel. So for those of you who are not familiar with um, this game, this, uh, this spinning game, uh, I do like a trivia when someone raids, like the raider or me, if they have to go, spins the wheel, we get a category and the first person to answer the trivia question correctly in the chat gets a point and will feature on the leaderboard. Um, and Google is allowed. Yeah, you have to go and get food and rest before sleep. No problem. Thank you so much for 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 coming in. Really appreciate that. Okay, so um, since Wonder Angel is gonna be going, I'm going to spin the wheel. So we got green. Okay, so the question, the category question is break the internet. All right. Uh, yeah, you just have to answer correctly in the stream chat for uh, the, the f to get a point. And remember, Google is allowed. Here we go. Everybody can participate. As of 2020. Instagram's official account is the most followed account on Instagram. True or false? Oh, that's easy. As of 2020, Instagram's official account is the most followed account on Instagram. True or false? What? What? Since 
It's true. The platform has over 300 million followers. I'm still. You know what? You know what? If you say true right now, I'm gonna give you the point. If you say true right now. <laughs> Three, I didn't expect 300 million followers. Who follows Instagram on Instagram? Who does that? There you go. Yay, congratulations, Thomas. You got a point. <laughs> yeah, it's easy when nobody else is in the chat to answer the question. Because I don't, I did. I didn't think you could like follow Instagram on Instagram. <laughs> what? What for? What would you do that for? <laughs> oh, oops! Stop that. What I wanted. All right. Okay, let's let's get back into the game. What a knobhead! Everyone else begins lifting themselves out of bed. You start to get up. Oh. Oh, I have the option to wave at one of the two boys that like are interested in me or wave at neither of them. Oh. Um If I wave at Mason, or oh, wait, or even Levi. Okay, so here's the thing. Levi is the brown-haired guy with, that is coupled up with the blonde girl. She doesn't seem that jealous. But if I wave at Mason, Allegra is gonna get super angry. And I kind of want to cause a bit of drama. So I'm gonna wave at Mason. I would wave at both, to be honest. Wait, Mason sits up in the bed, next bed over from you. He squints in the morning light. He no, he he makes a hood out of the duvet. Noticing you looking at him, he waves. I'm not and never will be a morning person. I just want to go back to bed for another couple of hours. But then you miss all the excitement. Yeah, that's true. You feel good. Today is going to be amazing. He gives you a thumbs up. That's the spirit. Allegra reaches out from under the duvet and pokes him in the side. Shh. Mason catches your eye, shrugs, and then rolls out of bed. Some of the others walk uh, off of the kitchen in the showers. Allegra sits up and wraps the duvet around herself. It a thumbs up. Up the butt. <laughs> It's really weird to think that like we're all here but Jasper is probably on his way back from home by now. I can't believe it came down to you to choose who get, got dumped. That was hardcore. Um, eh, choosing who got dumped was part of the game. It's cool. I was thinking about it all night. I couldn't sleep with so many people in the room. Every time I heard someone roll over or scratch or snore, my brain was like someone's having sex. Come on, lazy bones, your toast is getting cold. I, I mean, would you have sex with someone you like just met in the villa? It's not like you. It's not like you can just leave and go about your day the day after you have to see these people like for a whole summer <laughs> he's being really loud and cheerful it's solely at odds with the vibe in the room oh my gosh i can i have the option to say shut up if they're a bit of an exhibitionist <laughs> maybe would you be able to have sex with someone like 
in the same room with other people like like they all the beds are next to each other would you be able to have sex when when there are other people sleeping next to you yeah no problem tatiana he hands you a cup of coffee and walks out again so what's the score with you and miles going to try and patch things up with him or crack on with someone else oh yeah because he said okay so what after we got coupled up he said that you know um you, you know even though we're coupled up that doesn't mean that we we can't we should talk to other people like in fact i'm gonna go talk to other people it's, it was like dude it would just like really like right now you've done that with 12 people watching wait okay what i need more context thomas thomas i i need more i need the tea i need i need the story okay T tell me tell me come on come on like you can't you can't just not in the bar <laughs> okay 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 dm me dm me i need to know i need to know <laughs> you're you're in germany right you're not in the netherlands because like if you said you were in the Netherlands, I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. <laughs> You're Danish, but you live in Germany. Oh, okay, okay. I, I can see where this is going. I can see where this is going. Um, I haven't decided yet. Mm, please don't try anything on with Mason. Allegra, if I want to try out on Mason, there's nothing you can do about it, okay? Mm love you i want to make sure i have a good shot i succeeded with him this is not friendship island this is love island i will get whatever i want <laughs> many things are similar in netherlands and germany i figured i figured i feel like most people most regular people they okay if you're talking about an american good luck like uh, 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 like if do do they know where the netherlands are that you would be pretty lucky but but regular people the thing that they most know about the netherlands is the amsterdam and the more specifically the red light district that that's that's what you're known for um that that's what the netherlands are known for i'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry. Weed and prostitution. Oh, German Ger Germany hasn't legalized weed? I wasn't aware of that. I guess it makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. They are working on legalizing weed. That makes sense. That makes sense. I feel like... The fact that weeds are weed is not legalized yet everywhere, I'm like, what has weed done to you exactly? What has weed done to you? Well, I know why weed was illegal for a long time uh, in the U.S. I don't know about everybody uh, everywhere else. It's only been one day. Oh, if I want Mason, there's nothing you can do. Oh. It's only uh, I want to say both I want to say both it's only been hmm. it's only been one day yeah but you know what they say you should eat from other people's place and you don't want to start something you can't finish a let My girl is a serial serial monogamist. Now that now that they are coupled up after one day, he's off limits. She's gonna she's gonna rip your head off if you go for him. That's not how Love Island works, my sweetheart. I'm gonna go after your man. She's possessive as fuck. I'm gonna go after her man out of spite. 
<laughs> I would go after her, man. I'll spite. Let's be real. Weed is pretty harmful in different ways than alcohol and other harder drugs. Yeah, it's just that it's just the the whole like. It's like cigarettes are are legal. Alcohol is legal. So what about weed? What is it about weed again that it's like non-permissive, but we, but 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 alcohol and and like cigarettes? I'm I'm just saying this is some kind of weird double standard here. Let's be real. What are you talking about? But yeah, weed weed is all can be harmful. Yeah, it is true. Uh, uh, I have I know a bunch of people who don't smoke weed because it causes them paranoia. And if you can go through life without without smoking weed, that's that's perfectly fine. Yeah, on Love Island, you have to get to know other people and go for the person you have the the biggest connection with. They had that on the wall of a restaurant that I went to once. I think it means that like you should keep an eye up what someone else has and you should be prepared to finish it if you try to start some anything. So what you so you're warning me off? I'm just telling you how it is. They had one of those food challenges at the restaurant. They all said that to me because they thought I was a girl who could eat a 32 ounce steak. I showed them I get what I want when I put my mind to it. So you know, don't bite off more than you can chew off with Mason. Okay. While we're on the subject. Yeah. Yeah, we do... Uh, Weed back in the day, yeah. Right now, you don't have any excuse. What are your excuses to keep weed illegal? Really, what's what is the excuse today? But back in the day, yeah, weed was used to like, uh, uh like it's, it's like a racist, racist, um, act. It did just like the. What is it called? It's that one... Okay, there is one ingredient... Um, there is one ingredient that is used in a lot of Asian dishes. I forgot the name. I forget, I for, I forget a lot of stuff. Uh, it's, but it's used a lot in, in those... In those like uh, Asian dishes. And... They, they they start to say oh it's really bad the, this ingredient is really bad for you but it's just it's 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 actually better than regular salt it's just salt it and better better for you than regular salt like the the salt that you you know you buy from the grocery so really you're, this is just like this is just anti-Asian. This is just an anti-Asian sentiment right there. It's a, it's a myth that is very anti-Asian because there's no, it's not factual at all. It doesn't cause you harm to have too much. It does just as much like if you eat too too much salt, what's it gonna do to you? <laughs> Oh yeah, the big, the, yeah, yeah, like, if it brings you money, if it brings you money, you know, yeah, like, uh, you, you, they are, they're gonna try to keep it legal. The Mesa is packing a 32 ounce steak in his bulge. <laughs> He's not the only one who has a big bulge. I hope to see more bulges. Oh yeah, like this is why it's like I wouldn't recommend for students to to take up weed or at least not smoke weed when they are supposed to to be studying or working or or working on a project or whatever or whatever. Like I, because 
weed makes you super super lazy you like after that you don't want to do anything and if you're supposed to be studying forget about it. if you're supposed to be working on something forget about it forget about it you're you're it's pre you're pretty useless now <laughs> Wait, but is it Sega a weed smoker though? Is it Sega a weed smoker? Or does he know your sentiment about weed? <laughs> oh, he faves. It's not weed. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was. I, I thought he was like using um one of these weed pens, but it was vaping. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I, uh, I would, like, smoking weed, it's, like, it, it kind of really hurts my throat no matter how many times I do it. And the vape pen doesn't do much for me, so the only way I, I, can, I can, like, do weed is, like, edibles. But with edibles, I always end up going overboard. It kind of fucks with my, the rest of my evening, so... I don't I don't take edibles very often. Only when I know that I absolutely have nothing to do. Like I can I can afford to lose that evening. But yeah, it's uh but it does cause like it does cause us for some people paranoia. It's very it's very it's a, a really it's a very scary, scary thing to go through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, honestly though, the thing about alcohol, the thing about alcohol is that I'm very... I'm okay, maybe not now because... Maybe not now because like, I'm older now, but like a few years er ago, up until a few years ago, I was very he heavyweight. I could, I could take in a lot of alcohol to do a lot of shots before, before I get to the area where I want. So, so I didn't drink much because it's like, I'm, I'm wasting a lot of alcohol and for what? <laughs> and for what? <laughs> like I don't get there as fast as I don't get there fast enough. Okay, I would like like uh, when I go to when I go to bars, I would be the fir the only person to do shots of tequila. Everybody else it's like if they follow me, if they do shots of tequila with me, they get super, super drunk. Like they can't, they cannot even walk properly. And I'm here, I'm like, oh shit. Well, now I feel bad. And if they don't follow me and they just drink normally, I mean, yeah. Then I'm that one person who, te who does the shots of tequila by herself. I Okay, so I don't know any of these people, but Fisher knows some people who who uh who drives while they are high. It is so bad. It is so bad. I hate this. They they, they are dumbasses. Clearly they're dumbasses. You should be you should be driving under the influence whether you are you are high on weed or drunk. Like they, are, they are, oh, they are like, oh yeah, like I'm not dr driving while I'm drunk. Yeah, but you're high. Why, why are you driving? Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, I don't. I, if they get into an accident, I don't feel bad. I won't feel bad. Okay, you should know better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I would like. I don't I don't drive 
but if I were to drive, I would never drive under the influence. I've seen so many horror stories about people getting to accidents because they were under, under the influence. And I'm like, today you don't have any excuses. You have Uber, you have the taxi, you have the bus, the subway. You have so many ways to go back home without driving. You don't have any excuses. If I, if you drive while under the influence, I won't feel as, I won't feel bad at you at, for for you at all. If you get into an accident, okay? You kind of all actually deserve it. Zero sympathy for people who does that. Oh, you enjoy the party when you uh, slowly get tipsy? I guess so. I guess so. I feel like drinking games would be fun with you because you like you don't get you won't get like drunk as fast. All of the the times I've like I did drinking games, like uh, it's <laughs> by hour number three, I'm I'm like pretty tipsy and like uh, whatever comes out of my mouth is pretty is pretty it is it's pretty uh un, 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 like unintelligible i don't i don't know i can't talk i can't talk when i'm sober so imagine me when i'm drunk but like whatever comes out my mouth is poop <laughs> when i'm when i'm tipsy but er, but uh, pe other people they either had to stop before or they get super drunk like candy <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah, it's my dad, like I'm, s my dad got so, in so much trouble for, for driving while drunk, it's not even funny. Oh yeah, yeah, when we did the, because we did the uh, drinking game stream not long ago with Candy and two other streamers, we were like over here and uh, oh my gosh, when, sometimes you have to know when to stop, Candy should have known when to stop because goddamn. <laughs> She was such a mess. Where's the VOD? It's oh my gosh, please don't watch the VOD. Please don't watch the VOD. <laughs> I'm begging you, please don't watch the VOD. Everybody's such a mess. Everybody's such a mess. I I'm not I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna tell, okay? Like uh, if you want to find it, you will find it. But like don't 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 zozwit zon zozwit. Do you know who keeps eating all the salt and vinegar? vinegar crisp around here uh this erica runs into the room on tiptoes diffusing in the situation the moment Tatiana, come with me right now what is it just come she pulls you into the ba bathroom listen to this you can hear tim's voice come from the shower it sounds like he's rapping oh no Game, what are you making me do? No, I don't want to do this. <laughs> okay, here we go. MC team coming at you harder than Thomas Torquemada. Torquemada. Spanish Inquisition. My rams are high precision. I'm Love Island representing ladies fainting. My rams ain't wasting. They're devastating. <laughs> Stop! Stop, Tim! No! Oh my gosh. What the fuck is going on in here on this day? Okay, <laughs> we're gonna move on. We're gonna move on from this. <laughs> clipping, no! Don't do clipping! Oh my 
my gosh. Not the clipping. <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. She's trying to hold in her laughing so Tim doesn't hear. Shall we sneak a peek? Should we t peek at Tim rapping in the shower? Wait. What? Why? What? What? Uh, just, you know, just to tell him how much I liked his rapping. And, you know, maybe check out what other hidden talents he's got, if you know what I mean. And I, oh! What? Okay, these people, these people need to just be stopped. <laughs> Plus, first prank in the villa to the girls. This will totally show the guys we're here to have fun. It's all set us up for a great summer. What do you think? Uh, yellow, yellow. Okay, here's my idea for the best way to do it. We stand either side of the shower door and then we join in it, his rap. He'll be so surprised he'll open the door and see what's what. Okay, good plan. You both sneak up to the door. Tim's Love Island representing. His rhymes are devastating. Hey, who's out there? <laughs> he pushes the door, open the door. Surprise! Oh my god, what? <laughs> Wait, uh, it's, I guess it counts as a bulge. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Why did they give him a beard? A bubble beard. <laughs> Erica pushes open the door and you see Tim standing there completely naked and posing like he's on stage. He sent us, bul <laughs> sent us bulge beard. Oh my gosh, Thomas. I don't know if you know him. I, oh yeah, I did share this. I did share this. I, I'm reading a, a smut called Santa Claus is coming to town on me and it's the funniest thing ever. I, I'm i so grateful for smuts. Like, they are the greatest inventions by humanity. <laughs> I'll, I'll never see Santa the same way ever again. Let's, let's just... Let's just say I will. Santa is no longer family. Oh, he's family friendly in a different way now. Oh my gosh, I've only shared the excerpts, like that are like. It's not during the main action. It's not during the main action. But like I just read like the whole sex scene with with Santa, and oh my god, the the way she the way she described this the, that that sex scene, I'm like, yo, I didn't realize how I, I didn't realize it, but maybe now I do want to fuck Santa Claus. Just saying. <laughs> Wrap on my Discord. Ah! Something about Santa having a large sack. There was another excerpt that made me laugh. It's it was like she was like people counting the days until they open their gifts, but I'm counting the 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 uh, counting the minutes until they open the gifts, but I'm counting the minutes, the seconds until I get that Santa dick. I don't know why that made me laugh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa. Uh, hey guys. Erica can't contain herself anymore. She burst out laughing. Uh, all right, Santa. What? Oh. Tim hastily wipes off his bubble beard with a towel. It takes him a while to realize he's also still naked. Maybe don't mention the beard when you tell people about this. Aye aye, Captain. I uh, I bought the I bought the the, the that thing on Audible. Not Audible. Uh, what's it called? It's that thing. Uh, 
by Amazon. It's Kindle, the Kindle app. When I tell you, she really, she was really like excited. Let me tell you. Okay, hold on a second. I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I have allergies to to dust mites, and um, it's causing causing me to like have to go and and blow my nose a few times, and it's all like the dust mites in here are so bad that um, I I have to go go do that maybe like every few hours. Even like maybe a few times in an hour, it's so bad here. Um, I have a friend who started a company, a housekeeping company, but it's like for domiciles. And I asked her for a price for like just deep cleaning the whole basement, just getting rid of rid of every speck of dust here. Um, it's probably gonna be expensive, but like um, my allergies are so bad. Dude, you're freestyling in the shower. That's so cute. I couldn't just... It's pretty funny, Tim, the MC. We should call you... No. Team me Smalls. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you, you need to train your immune system. Deep cleaning is not healthy. Oh, maybe. Maybe I went to go see an allergist. I went to go see an allergist and he said that the that I will always have this this problem. The the best way to not have reactions as much is to regularly dust off the the dust mites. Like change my sheets every 2 weeks. Um use warm water and get rid of the dust. Uh, yeah, yep, yep. Erica cracks up again. That's how nicknames are born. Smalls gets used to it, mate. Back in the dressing room, the air shivers, the eyeshadows, and air spray, spray and perfume. The girls are getting ready for the day, first day of on Love Island. You fling open your suitcase. I've really been here one day, and I already know what, don't know what to wear. Something hot. She, you're so right. Allegra holds up a tiny bikini. Jen, can you do my bikini up? Uh, you've got it, babe. I got it. Uh, wow. I really need to make an impression to stand out, out among those girls. Oh, that is kind of cute. I like this one. Oh, maybe this one not so much. She changes between each new lover. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, I, uh... Slutty Leopard Prince. Oh my gosh. I kind of like the purp... I would wear something like that. I like the purple one. But the leopard one is really is really racy not gonna lie purple is too classy i'm a classy girl i'm i'm a classy i'm a classy classy whore didn't you know <laughs> hey. all right well too classy for tatiana yeah okay it's 10 it's 10 
but I look good in this. Yes, Tatiana, that's what I'm talking about. Coming up on ne next on Love Island, Tatiana con contemplates her position. I'm the most dangerous girl in the villa. Which Allegra naturally has a problem with. Just don't come near Mason, all right, hun? Don't miss it. Oh my gosh, no, not the, not the ad, not the ad. Well, it is for BitLife, right? BitLife is good. Uh, all right, just. Tatiana needs to go up that 32 ounce steak. Oh my gosh. I wouldn't be able to do that. I, really, I wouldn't be able to do that. Story completed. All right. Next episode. Oh my gosh, I hate it when they do, they do that. Hold on. Cracking on. Things heat up as the Islanders get stuck into their second day in paradise. Oh, I will crack on. She has jaws like a snake. Yeah, she'll probably be able to do, to do it. I wouldn't be able to. I eat so slow. You need to, to go make some dinner? No problem, Thomas. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate that. My stream is really fun. Oh, thank you so much. It means a lot when I'm able to entertain people. It really means a lot. Thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, yeah, welcome. Welcome to the to the Balducci community where, where a lot of raciness happens. A lot of drama happens. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I hope to see you again someday. I hope you'll stop, stop by it more in the future. Yay, yeah, welcome, welcome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, my my uh, schedules are pretty are pretty bad right now, but I'll, I'll I post my schedules on my on my Discord. Yeah, see ya, see ya, Thomas, see ya. Most of the Islanders are happily coupled up, but Tatiana has a decision to make. Try to patch things up with Miles or find someone else to graft on. Let's see what she does. Oh, okay, okay. Let's see who we can, um, who we can graft on. Well, we should go see our, uh, our the one we, the one we're with first. Mouse is reclining on the lounger with a cup of coffee on, in one hand. Mouse has gone the entire morning without starting a fight with anyone. I can't believe it. Unable to contain herself any longer, Tatiana wants to talk. Are they going to kiss or and make up? Let's find out. Morning there, T Tatiana. Um, hi, Miles. I'm glad we got a chance to chat. I wasn't sure whether you'd want to talk to me or... Well, I'm here now, aren't I? Are you here to apologize? What? I mean, you're not the one to spend the night on the sofa. Oh my gosh. Okay, this guy keeps finding ways to get on my nerves. Let it go about the sofa, mate. Should I apologize? No way. I'm not apologizing. I saved you from being dumped from the island and in return you acted like a total blend. The only reason I came up here was to give you a chance to apologize. I'm not apologizing. I didn't do anything wrong. Mate, you did everything wrong. And with that slam dunk, she walks away. Wow. I guess it's, it's pretty much done with him. Uh, let's go and check out on Levi. You're refilling your bo water bottle in the kitchen when Levi wanders over. 
All right. Yeah, I'm good. All good, you? Yeah, I'm just getting into the swing of things. He glances at you and then raises his eyebrows slightly. That's an amazing outfit. You look incredible. I wonder what you've got in store today. I don't know. Um, really hope I get the text though. I want to be the one to yell it out. Haha, <laughs> yeah. So I was just chatting with Miles, right? Yeah, I spoke to him earlier. I told him the truth, which is that he should have just been more grateful to me for saving him. I mean, you don't want that mood hanging around the whole rest of your time in the villa, you know? Uh, just so we can all move past it. He nods sagely. Yeah, it's a shame, but it's not such a big deal at the end of the day. There's loads of other people in the villa if it doesn't work out. Oh. Yeah, like who? Well, I mean, I've already, like, said that I... Does Levi like me? Say it again. Well, you know. We've already had some good moments since we got here. He seems shy. He was so confident yesterday. Our kiss must have been so intense that he doesn't know what to say now. You put your hand in his arm. Don't worry, Baze. I'm just giving you a hard time. I'm the most da dangerous girl in the villa. I reckon so, yeah. I bet the other girls have picked up on it too. Oh yeah, for sure. I'll be on my guard, especially around Allegra. Getting on well with Mason, are you? Well, am I, am I getting on with Mason? Um, yeah, jealous? Yeah, actually, I'm a little bit. Well, it's probably good for you. Keeps you keen. Yeah, right, keen. Uh, okay, now let's go talk to Mason. In the water, Jake swims lames in slow long slow motion movements water droplets makes the muscles in his back glitter in the sun you spot mason sitting back on a beanbag near the pool mason's by himself um go and sit with him in this villa you have to be forward you sit next to Mason, he smiles welcomingly. Hey, Tatiana, you good? You're blatantly just here to watch this Jake swim, aren't you? Am I just watching Jake swim? And you're not? Mason nods knowingly. He's not got a nice body. Jake climbs out of the pool, water streaming down his chest and out of his trunks. You guys are purrs. Amazing outfit though, Tatiana, I love it. He's not wrong, it's wicked. He walks off of the villa. I wish I had an arse like Jake's. What? He flexes his own arms. Jake looks like he actually does a proper workout. Oh my gosh, not the... F not the fake flexing, like it, the, the, the fake bragging. You work out. Let's be real. You do work out. My pro problem is all my strength is in my arms from playing drums, you know? Humble brag of the century. Uh, your uh, body's alright. Mm, don't worry, I'm not jealous. I don't need to be jealous of dudes like Jake because I have a secret weapon. One day, you'll be minding your own business when out of nowhere. You'll be like, what's that amazing music? And you'll drop, look around and see me dropping freestyle verses while dropping out on a homemade kit made out of like pans and buckets and that. It's going to be amazing. Ah, it's hard to imagine Mason playing drums on kitchenware. It sounds great. Yeah, it does, does it? Are you alright? Bit of a rocky start yesterday. Have you spoken to Miles? 
Yeah, we spoke earlier. I think we're probably done. I basically think he's a prick. Yeah, the most important thing is to keep having fun. We're here for the summer of our lives. You deserve to be with someone you like. Out of nowhere, Allegra sits down on the beanbag on the other side of you. She has a smile on her face, but there's a hint of worry in her eyes. Hey guys, what are you talking about? What should I tell Allegra? Uh, my relationship prospects, I bet. There's definitely someone here for you. I think Jake seems interested. Yeah. The chat goes slowly after that. Whenever you say something, Allegra cuts you off and kills the conversation dead. Oh, she is so insecure. So insecure. She's nervous to leave me with, alone with Mason. This sucks. You get up and walk off. Ah, oh, and there's also Jake. I haven't really given Jake a, a proper chance. In case you haven't guessed, Jake's gone off on his own again. What, what kind of secret is he hiding? Luckily, he's, we s s sent in Tatiana to get the inside scoop. Jake is lying on a sun lounger. He looks puzzled. There's something in his hand, but you can't see what it is. Jake looks up to you and smiles as you approach, but immediately hides whatever it is he's holding. Hey! What are you hiding there? Nothing interest, honestly. I really want to know what he's up to. This is going to annoy me all day if I don't know. Uh, I'll let him keep... I'm nosy though! I'm nosy. Tell me, you can keep secrets. Go on, I won't tell anybody. Alright, alright, fine. Actually, I'm glad you insisted. I kind of need to talk to someone about this. He pulls out the thing he was hiding. It's a notebook. So I'm trying to do something nice for Talia. Something kind of romantic which shows I'm serious about her. So, um, girls like poetry, right? Do girls like poetry? I can't speak for all women. Where, what, where are you going with this? Well, I've been working on a little something. I saw that notebook in your hand. You're not about to do something totally cringe, are you? Suddenly, Jake stands up from the sun lounger and strikes a dramatic pose. Roses are red, violets are blue. If you were a rare cultivar of a genetically variable fruit tree, I'd be grafting on you. So, what do you think? I mean, it's not about you, obviously, but it's not bad, right? Seem to know a lot about plants. Is it a bit much? My dad was an horticulturist, and I guess I picked up on his love for plants along the way. That's awesome, though. Oh, really? Maybe that's the answer then. Write what you know. Isn't that what they say? Aha, I guess so. So you might say the poem just needs to be pushed up a bit. That's it. You can do it if you believe in yourself. Oh my god. We are like the lamest people in the villa right now. No wonder this is going so well for us. What are you talking about? We're a couple of peaches. Pure poetry. Anyway, I, I think we'd better let the villa newly appointed poet in residence catch his breath. Nothing to sadar here, people. Let's make like a tree and leave. Oh, we can continue. Oh, well, no, we, I want to talk to Talia first. While the other islanders are used to villa life and get grafting, Talia has decided to use her precious time sensibly by lying next to the pool doing absolutely nothing. Let's hope she doesn't mind being interrupted by Tatiana. As you approach, Talia sits up and puts one foot in the water, stirring it with her toes. Alright babes! Uh, so it's all good. Good. I'm keeping a bit of a low profile. Oh my god, yeah, so much drama with you and Miles. Love it. 
I mean, it's not ideal, ideal to be honest. I know you're totally better than that. She prods you with her toe. Don't let it go down, uh, get you down. You'll be past it in no time. Just start working on someone else. Uh, who do you suggest? Well, don't ask me that. Why not? I might give you a biased answer. Is she blushing or is it just the sun? How's it going with Jake? You know, I'm not the 100%. Physically, he's my tap on paper. And like personality-wise, he's it's all there. He's got the charm. He's, it's not too loud. But something about it isn't quite right. Yeah. Well, it's still early days. Talia lies down and flings her arm back. She's clearly finished talking. Poor Talia, it's all a bit much for her. Okay, I chatted with everyone. Let's see what happened. Oh, coming up next, the Islanders test their first impressions. A cup astrologer evaluates the couple's compatibility. And Tatiana and Miles square off. Oh. I feel like the next episode, it's there's gonna be a little bit more actions. It's been a little bit tame uh, till now. Not much has happened. Uh, uh oh, I was able to skip that ad. How do we? S oh, there you go. X X. Okay. I think I have time for one more. I have time for one more episode because I I, I have to leave pr soon because I am going to go, to go see the Avatar movie. So so yeah. Yeah. I am. It's a three hour movie. It's a three hour movie. I and I haven't eaten yet. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna eat a lot of popcorn, a lot of snacks. Oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy one of these overpriced hot dogs there, I guess. Getting closer, we found about out about our islanders really think what our I, we islanders really think about their new partners oh previously on love island okay I, uh, why do they keep doing this things got heated between Tatiana and allegra it's all got a bit steamy when tim got a new nickname Tonight, who will win the first date outside of the villa? Down at the gym, Jake's pumping iron, while Tim, or Smalls, is looking at the pull-up bar. Your Smalls, mate. I'm not expert, but I think you're meant to do some exercises on it. All right, Smalls. The nick this nickname is my life now, isn't it? His phone beeps. Oh wow! Guys, I got a text! That's, <laughs> that's usually what they do. Oh, what is it? The Islanders come running like seagulls to a bag of chips. I'm a born poet. Read it! Islanders, you've been in the villa for a whole day. It's time to find out who's been paying attention and who's just chancing it. Girls, head to the beach hut. Boys, go to the bedroom. Erica and Tim head to the pool. All will be revealed. A challenge. Amazing. Alright, let's go, boys. Oh, I should have read out the hashtags out loud. Oh. The boys head off towards the bedroom. You can hear Levi uh, giving them a pep talk as they go. 
On the chair in the beach hut are five pieces of paper, one for each girl. Here, Tatiana, this one's for yours. Jen hands you the paper and the pen. I've got... It's got questions on it. I wonder what this is about. First question, am I a summer person or a winter person? Oh, oh boy. Um, I would normally... Uh, I would normally have like a poll for each of them, but I'm not sure if there's anybody in the chat right now to do the poll. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if there's anybody here who's, uh, who's down to vote. So I think I'm going to do... I'm gonna choose them myself. Or... Am I a summer person or a winter person? I'm a fall person. <laughs> I'm a between person. But between summer and winter... Winter is really nice. Winter is really nice to look at, but it there's it's so... It's so inconvenient. I guess I'm a summer person. Second question. Do I prefer gin and tonic, vodka, and, or vodka and energy drink? Gin and tonic. Third question. Would I take someone home on the, my first date? Yes, I have. And I will. <laughs> the other girls are answering their own questions. They all seem to be different. Those questions were like pretty tame. I I I um I need some more spiciness. Okay, we've done that. What now? Her phone beeps on cue. Here we go. Girls, please go to the swimming pool where you'll find the boys waiting. S sit on the edge of the pool opposite of your partner. Hashtag pay attention. Hashtag all will be revealed. The islanders gather by the pool. Boys down on one side, girls down the other. It's like a school disco, but with more splashing and less acne. And here to to judge our Love Island's very own PTA is Erica and Tim. Hey guys, ready to play a game? The, a game? There's a chorus of yelling. Here's how it works. You've all been answering questions. We're going to see if you're able to guess which answers your partners gave. Oh, I get it. The couple with the most correct answers wins a prize, a date night outside the villa. Simple as that. Let's start with you and Tal Talia as you seem keen. Awesome. You we asked Jake, would you keep a suitcase full of cash if you found one in the street? Oh, okay. Here's the thing. Initially, I would be very happy. However, a suitcase full of money, that's some mafia money right there. I would leave it alone. I wouldn't I wouldn't take anything. I I like that's just recipe for disaster if you take a, a suitcase full of money. Because here's the thing. Usually uh regular people they carry cash, a bit of cash and everything. But if you see a suitcase full of money, it you're definitely in dangerous like criminal territory right here. J just leave, leave that suitcase. I know you want it, but don't don't do it. What answer? What answer did do you think Jane gave? Talia purse, purses her lips and scratches her chin. I think he'd understand that money could be really important to someone. I don't think he'd keep it. He'd hand it in. Correct. One point to Talia. Alright, let's try one for Miles. When asked, are you a summer person or winter person? What answer did Tatiana give? Uh, oh, hold on. That's, oh, that's easy. She's a winter person for sure. Alright, mate, why do you say that? Because she's got a frosty attitude, not a warm one like a summer person would have. Oh, hell no! Oh my gosh. 
Wow. Wow. Okay, Miles. Okay. Miles wants to fight. Miles wants to fight. He doesn't have his bulge anymore. What the hell? Interesting. That's actually the wrong answer. Or oh, is it? Well, whatever. You catch Erica's eye. She makes an exaggerated shrugging motion. The other couples do much better than you. Uh, J Jen and Levi both get get both the, their questions right. After a while, it's your turn again. Alright, Tatiana, here's one for you. We asked Miles, can guys and girls ever just be friends? What do you think he said? Um... It's Miles, he probably said no. Yep, that's what he said. Yeah, sounds like him. Yeah, Tatiana is very disappointed in the answer. You want it to be wrong, Tatiana. I know you, but... Miles is not that kind of guy. Do you really think that, Miles? That's horrible. It's just natural. Men and women, there's, there's always going to be something in the way, isn't there? Bruh. Alright. No, you're just a stupid misogynist. A messy gymnast? What? <laughs> Tim. They're right, Miles. It's a really disrespectful attitude. Yeah, like... That, th does that mean that I'm going to whore... Like, I'm always gonna be whoring myself to every guy? Like... I'm... It's like, I cannot be friends with any of the guys there. I just can only be friends with one guy. Wow, well, I, re I re didn't realize I was on trial here. Well, maybe you need to examine your values. Okay, on to the next question. They rattle around the group until they get to Miles again. Okay, Miles, you're in the spotlight again. When asked gin and tonic or vodka and energy drink, what, which answer did Tatiana give? Well, Tatiana is a fun-loving party girl, so I'm going to say vodka and energy drink. Gin and tonic is for grandmas. What? Okay, this this guy is looking for a fight. I'm, I'm gonna oblige. You and me, Miles, we're gonna fight behind the Denny's. We're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna fight behind the Denny's. Okay? Oh my god, Miles! He didn't have to say it like that. Everyone's silent. That's the wrong answer again. Oh, come on. Okay, Tatiana, your turn again. We asked, have you slept with more than 200 people? What answer did Miles give? 200 people? God damn! It has to be me. No, nobody has... No, no, nobody could have said with 200 people. That's too much. I'll say no. I'm afraid not more than 200. That's unbelievable. Well, not really. Think about it. One person a week, 52 weeks in a year. But yeah, it's still one person a week. What, in every year? That doesn't seem right. Don't worry, honey. If you keep that up, you get 200 in only like 4 years. <laughs> oh my gosh! This guy is, is a bigger whore than I am. He's a bigger slut than I am. Like, 200 people... For, like, imagine sleeping with a, a new person every week for 4 years. You need, you need, you need help. Would you not mind doing the numbers on my love life? Thanks. But you, you're the one who slept with 200 people. We have to talk about this. But if you're really seeing that many people, you can't have like just one girlfriend for any of that time. Or maybe I've come to Love Island because I want to change all that. Maybe this is my chance to finally settle down and leave my wayward life behind me. 
Anyway, I've had girlfriends for like a couple of months at a time and stuff. I bet with all that experience, he's really good in bed. Allegra, you can have him. You can have him, Allegra. Just take him, please. I'm begging you, take him. Talia splashes water at her. And Erica enters the final round of questions. Jen and Levi are obviously the best at this. Levi looks like he's really concentrating on getting the answers right. Everyone else is treating it like a bit of fun. They reach Miles again. So Miles, maybe you'll get one right. We asked Tatiana whether she would take someone home on the first date. What do you reckon? Okay, I can do this. What would Tatiana take? What would Tatiana take someone home on the first date? Yeah, I think she would if she liked the person and got a good feeling from them. It's a bit different in here, of course. Out there, you aren't going to be st stuck in the same house for, for house for four, four weeks afterward. But my answer is yes. I think she, she would if the circumstances were right. That's actually the right answer. Amazingly, would I have thought it? If I had said no, he probably would have said something very slut shamey. Come on, give me a bit of credit. I mean, I don't, one out of three isn't a great score. I think he was just worried of, about losing face, so he actually made an effort with that one. Yeah, or maybe it was just luck. There are only two options in these questions. Up next is Tatiana. It's not like she's going doing an amazing job of guessing my answer either. He's not wrong. Alright then, here's the question. We asked Miles, would you get married in Vegas? What answer did he give? Everyone goes silent as they look at you. Tim whispers something to Levi and he laughs. Um, no, he would get married in Vegas. I think he would get married in his home country. I don't think it's his style. More likely, he'd just take her straight to the to a hotel. And that's correct. He actually wrote the word no and then he underlined it twice. Of course, I'm not gonna get married to in Vegas. My mom would be furious. Oh, mate. I definitely didn't expect to hear that. I kind of like that he's a mama's boy. Oh, yeah, we, we all know. We all know. That's a problem. You need to keep mom on side. This is could be going better miles has got only gotten one of my answers right so far there's no way he will win if i let the game end now and we can still put it put it back with just a couple more rounds uh should we keep playing i'm not i'm not spending 10 gems on this i'm done just read out the results and let's get this over with are you sure? The scores are really close. If, on if only take a few more rounds for you to pull into the lead. We're so close to winning. I'm not. I'm not. No. Okay then. And that's the end of the challenge. The winners are... Levi and Jen, you two win a date outside of the villa this evening. Amazing. No surprises there. You play to win me well done guys you deserve it coming up next on love island Tatiana overhears something oh my god that she's think she's talking about me and things come to a head with miles so we should we should probably have a that chat we didn't have this morning oh my god I'm so excited, I can hardly contain myself. Oh my gosh. The drama. It's gonna come to a head. Uh, do I have time? Okay. Why am I looking at this ad? Why am I... Why am, are we looking at this ad? Just skip. It's such a small icon in the other side here. Do 
I have time for one more? Hmm. And I don't think I do. It's the 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 movie is in forty five minutes. I, it means I have like probably 15 more minutes but I don't think I can do one more chapter with 15 minutes left so I think I'm going to end the stream now um but yeah um I'm super excited to continue uh, I feel like if I hadn't talked for two hours at the beginning of the stream, I probably would have been able to finish the day. I would have been able to finish day two. Uh, that's on me. <laughs> that's on me. Um, but yeah. Next Sunday, I will see if I can... I will see if I can finish... Uh, day two and then finish day three next Sunday. I'm liking this whole like I'm liking the afternoon stream. I'm liking the afternoon stream. Um, even though there's not many people like <laughs> in right now. Um, I might even I might even put it at eleven. Like. To start instead of noon maybe start a little bit earlier we'll see we'll see uh, I'm still figuring out my schedule but yeah anyway thank you for those who are still here and or are lurking or jumped in I really appreciate that um, and, and yeah, I will end the stream now because it's movie time soon. Alright, hold on. Exit LD player. So yeah, let me... Let me see, is there anybody here who is streaming right now that I could raid? Wow. Um... Oh, but Brittany is streaming right now, so I'm going to I'm going to raid Brittany. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. Brittany Marie, there you go. Well, let's go see. Let's go watch Brittany Marie. Uh, but yeah, for those of you who are still here and wants to join on the raid. Uh, here's my my raid message. Uh, sorry for the short stream, but yeah, I I gotta go and I gotta go watch a movie. <laughs> but thank you so much. Uh, I I really do be wanting to do like Sunday. Uh, I do Sunday in the morning or afternoon streams where it's like mobile games i think they are fun um and yeah we're unable to raid britney maria this time what oh my gosh why why can't i raid i guess she she turned off the rating maybe it, yeah i cannot raid her Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I cannot. I, I, I can't raid Brittany. So let me see if there's anybody else I can raid. Well, there, there's Cassia that is doing an art stream. I'll see if I can raid Cassia. Yes, I can. All right. Well, thank you so much, uh, people who are still here. Uh, I will see you. I will see you on Tuesday. Tuesday evening, we'll be finishing Rocky, hopefully. Uh, 
All right, bye, y'all. Bye.